Welcome back to the channel guys. We're in a, I'm gonna go to the farm. There's grass to mow. It's supposed to storm later, so I wanna get grass out of the way and then probably vaccinate calves and well, I didn't get to vaccinate calves last week. There is a tank to wash, so I actually might do that first. That probably should be done and I can always vaccinate tomorrow. So it's really nice and hot out and um, I'm going to probably mow for around two hours and then we're going to wash off our second tank and then just to get that out of the way then we'll do my other chores and probably vaccinate. It would actually be nice to vaccinate today if I have the time. So yesterday when I was washing this off this tractor was making a squeaking noise or kind of a whine and the reason was because this uh, belt tensioner was shot, but it looks like my dad fixed that. And we also needed to get a new belt, but yeah, when this tractor is dusty, it's a fire hazard. So I'm going to mow this grass bank. This grass bank wraps up and then goes around that barn to the front, and then it also wraps down behind this bunker here. But um, sometime afterwards, I'll probably put the camera up in the shop. You could probably. I'll have a time lapse going on my dad working on the 270. The cab suspension shot, it's just, yeah, it's terrible. It rides rough. So we got some parts. I forget what the brand's called for suspension, but it's not, it, I think it's Fox. But anyway, uh, we're putting that for the cab for the suspension. And hopefully it rides smoother. It should, I don't know why it wouldn't. And then I'll probably wash the tank then afterwards. Good uh, farmer's tan day. I'm Tony Rohr, I'm Ashton's father. So what we're doing today is we have an 8270R that the cab suspension is not very desirable. Um, we have an updated shock absorber that used in a side-by-side -side, uh, ATV application and they say it works very well on the cab uh, as a replacement for the existing shock absorber. Um, now we did find we have a broken bolt which didn't help our situation any but these here are going to be a little more maintenance free and uh, they line right up with the existing bolt pattern that deer used and um, we're hoping that we see better results and smoother rides so we're going to get these in. That time lapse probably showed some of the most exciting stuff with the or like moving the wheels out and so they gave enough room to work back in behind the wheels but um well, Nope, there's on this side. Anyway, but there's not going to be much more to show. So meanwhile, we'll go and uh, high pressure wash our second tank and I'll probably be able to do the tractor as well. So this will be a good three, four hours, three hours probably. I don't, hopefully it doesn't take four hours. That would stink, but three hours of pressure washing. I'm gonna worry about doing the tank first here. Then we'll get the tractor out of the way. I should complete the whole rig. I don't know why it wouldn't, but hey, something could always pop up. 
as you can tell this tank was used more it's much dirtier and it's longer so more surface area to cover this is a 7300 and nice ladder to get up top now let's get cruddy Still got a little bit on the other side to do and then the top. But meanwhile, they started cleaning out group five. This is the group of cows that I was talking about well, you seen in previous videos, but this is where we get most of our pen pack, or at least half. But yeah, we quickly, we load up two dump trucks and they'll dump down there in the bunker or whatever bunker doesn't have silage in. The uh, best time is, we're, we're cleaning it out now since they're milking these cows and then when they come back, they'll have a nice fresh pen. Every morning we dump fresh sawdust shavings on this uh, pen here, so. Plenty of uh, hours later, I don't know how long it took, but finally got that tank done i'm just gonna back up this rig so i can get the tractor now because the hose is not long enough to go the whole way around the tractor well i could but it'd be a pain <laughs> Round two, but round two won't be as long as round one. So the manure rig is done, finally. Uh, my stepbrother Jared, the rod, he fed for me so I didn't have to, along with my cousin Mitch. But um, now I think I'm just going, yeah, I'm going to take it up, the uh, tank up to the park. Sorry, I'm just trying to drive and do everything at once. Um, Take the tank up and the tractor and tank up to the parlor and I'm going to do a final rinse with the fire hose and then I'll come back with the skid loader and clean up around where I was washing so it's not an absolute mess. Alright, now she can just sleep until uh fall probably give her a good wash then too all right now to, it's time to go clean up the mess that i made nope that's last Much needed rain. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't mind my brother. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.